Hi, I'm Emily Heise. I'm the assistant coach for Oregon State Volleyball, but I also coach a 16s club team in Corvallis, Oregon. A lot of coaches know the benefits of running doubles and triples uh, drills in practice. Players get a lot of individual touches on the ball, and it also forces players to not specialize, meaning your middle blockers have to dig and play defense, and your liberos have to hit, and everybody has to do all six skills. Um, some of the problems that I've run into in running doubles and triples drills in a tryout um, are, one, you let players pick their own team, and you run into friends developing cliques or your three best players ending up on the same team, so uh, the competition's not that great because that team ends up killing everyone, or nobody wants to be little Susie's partner, and it's kind of embarrassing for her to go through that, that situation. Um, or two, you pick the teams, and you end up with players complaining that, well, I didn't get to showcase my talents because I had little Susie on my team, or um, you know, you don't get to see player A next to player B the way you want to. And so uh, there's a way that has been developed to mitigate all of those problems, um, and that is called a bearing tournament. It's also known as a linear ranking tournament. What it does is it forces every player to play with their teammates the same number of times that they would play against that teammate. So for my favorite one that I use, it's a group of seven, that's seven rounds, and everybody plays with each other twice and against each other twice.